Genre music, cold shit is a movement The Black Sabbath, the rap is a bloodbath For the track, stupid, they hate what they don't understand They faded the foes in my hands I wanna kill them all, I crave it, no one gets a pass I'm a sick man, dwelling in the past Got a gas can, lip mask, been ready to go up, damn The bitch gagged on my dick till she threw up Threw her in the trunk, the pump will make your crew jump I got no love for these bitches, man, I swear to God We're back with the Buffalo Juggalo Radio Show, right here on Hatchet Radio. Uh, right now, we're going to uh, take a few moments and review the new album put out by LSP. Uh, this is A Beautiful Curse uh, by Gino Cult Shit. This album was released uh, just recently after his passing away in uh, August. I'm sure most of you are probably aware by now um of his passing and of the circumstances of his passing uh it was uh an, an overdose an accidental overdose it wasn't intentional i won't go into you know a lot of a lot of detail but you know from what i know of the situation uh he was you know he was in pain for a while uh you know he was hurting uh he he was really trying to get clean he was, you know, he was struggling with it every day. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, he, he was really trying, really, really was making an honest effort to, you know, to turn things around. And, you know, as you all know, it, ju it just catches up to you. And, you know, sometimes when you give in that one time, you know, and like in his case, it had been so long for him since he'd done it. And that one time, it was just a little too much. And, unfortunately, it took him from us. Uh, but this album that they released, I mean, first of all, like, everything else aside, this album on its own, it, it, it's a phenomenal album. It's, it's beautiful, it's haunting, it's depressing, and also a little uplifting at times even, which is odd to say. Uh, because this album mostly deals with his, uh, depression and addiction. Now there are um you know a couple tracks uh, you know classic dark half sounding you know horrorcore songs of course I mean it is <laughs> it isn't it, it is a Geno album so he's got to he's got to give that to the fans uh but at the same time there's also some very deep uh and personal songs this album it wasn't fun to listen to I mean, I didn't hate listening to it. Like, I'm not saying don't listen to it. Uh, but it's not, you know, something that you're going to put in and party to, you know. It's something that you're going to put in and contemplate and think and feel. And if you were a fan of Gino or if you knew him personally, this album could actually be tough to listen to at times. Um, I didn't know him super personally, but we knew each other when we saw each other we'd you know give give each other the nod um i've i've interviewed them before uh you know i've i've, I've had him on the show i i've performed several shows uh with him i toured with them for a weekend uh a few years back so i you know i i i, I knew a bit of him and so, some of these songs they were a little it was kind of tough listening to you know i definitely got some some chills some goosebumps uh, you know, and especially knowing the situation and what went into it and what's behind it, you know. So basically what this album is, is at the time of his passing, he had planned on completing this album. It was almost, it was almost done. And basically the, the team at LSP, they finished it, they took what he had done, 
Uh, they mixed and mastered it. I mean, some of these tracks are not finished. I mean, you can even hear... I mean, it doesn't sound bad or anything. But here and there, you could, t- you could tell where the vocals just are, you know, a little different or something. And it, it, it's, it's kind of nice in a way because it really gives this album that that homegrown feel or maybe not homegrown i don't know what the word i'm looking for um that that handcrafted touch i don't i don't, I don't know what to, what to uh, describe it as i guess maybe you guys know what i'm trying to say but the the team at lsp they finished this album up and they put it out in honor of him and all the proceeds from the album sales are actually going to his family so that's pretty cool uh, and I know that these albums have been have been selling like crazy. They put out a, a, a special uh, limited edition poster with them also. The poster is kind of like a, a collage of you know, all these different pictures of Gino uh, throughout his life, throughout his career. So to get into this album itself. Uh, now, first of all, the overall theme of this album, I mean, other than like those couple you know horror core tracks, the overall theme of this album is definitely about his addiction. It's about his depression, his loneliness, his sense of loss, uh, and just him wishing that it would just go away. You know, him wanting for it to just end, to disappear. Sometimes it's suicide. He just wants to kill himself and end it. Um, sometimes he's just waiting for overdose to take him you know he's waiting for it to happen you know whatever it is he's just you know he, he's just sick of it all so that's that's kind of what what this what, not kind of that is what this album is about it's just him trying to deal with his addiction his his longing for uh heroin and also dealing with that sense of loss and loneliness and abandonment that he felt from people around him probably because of the choices he was making as far as the drugs. I'm, I'm only guessing as, as far as that goes. I'm just kind of putting it together. Um, you know, I feel like he probably isolated himself a little bit. So that, that, that's kind of what, what, what this album, it's just like a, it, it's just a, a, a dark, sad lament, him just wishing to just end it, bring it all back together, you know, one way or the other, either fix it or end it. So as we go through each track here, uh, I'm not going to keep repeating that same synopsis in each track. I'm going to kind of focus in on the specific meaning of the track itself. Now, first of all, this album, uh, it starts and ends with a horrorcore uh, song, and it kind of... uh, it, it makes you uh, feel like you're listening to a dark half track. Uh, you know, it kind of has that that feel to it. That you know, that just that dark horror core with a slight bit of campiness to it. Maybe not campiness, but lightness. Maybe the the first track. It's called Funeral Music. He's basically inviting you to to join him, to come along with him along his path of murder and suicide and destruction. Now, track two, Run Along. This is where it starts getting uh, deep and personal. This track was actually released a while back. Uh, there's a video for it also. This song, it, it really it exemplifies his singing voice and his ability to, to use harmonies and melodies to affect the tone and the emotion of the song. Um, I mean, it's basically he's just saying, you know, run along, you know. It, it's time for him to go. Time for him to run along. We're actually going to play this track um we're gonna play this track in its entirety um at the end uh the 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 track in the beginning of this whole review was funeral music the one we just talked about but we're gonna play run along at the end of this review so make sure you stick around for that track three uh darkness within me this is another melodic track with a bit of a, a heavier instrumental behind it for sure kind of you know sounds a bit like a rock song uh in this one, he discusses some of his inner struggles and the desire to end it all. The prevailing theme in this track is is his feeling he's just down due to the loneliness and people turning on him. Track 4, The One. This track is also reminiscent of those dark half love ballads we've all grown to enjoy over the years. 
uh, complete with a soft sung chorus and everything. In this track, Gino is stalking one of his childhood loves, culminating in his killing her husband and then breaking into her house and taking her by force. <laughs> uh, track 5. Everyone moves on. This one here, this one isn't so much about his addiction. It actually deals with um, a, a breakup, a lost love, uh, an ex-girlfriend. He's talking how, you know, time's moved on even though she hurt him and caused him to make bad choices because of the breakup, you know, everyone everyone moves on. It's the name of the song. Everyone's moved on. Track 6, Her. Uh, it's uh, subtitled Heroin. This song, pretty straightforward. Uh, he's talking about heroin. In this song, he's almost having a conversation with his addiction himself. It goes back and forth between his voice and then... I mean, it's his voice again, but it's like a darker or a deeper voice. Uh, he's kind of arguing with himself. He's talking to himself. He explains that, you know, heroin, it was there for him when he had nothing else. Uh, and now, he later on, he's expressing his anger that it took hold of him the way it did. You know, it wasn't supposed to be like this. It was just supposed to help him out for a bit, and now he's stuck. We're actually going to play a snippet of this track um, right now. So check this out. This is... Heroin. Alright, the next track, Fly Away. This track is another sad lament. Um, you know, basically he's just wishing he could just fly away. He feels as though he's already dead. And he wants people to just leave him alone so he can just fade away and be gone. All the negative influences and obstacles in his life are what shaped him to be the person that he is now. You know, and basically he is the product of these things. So why would the, you know why would he want these things back in his life now after you know they blamed him the whole time? Track eight, sing for me. You know, it, it, it's kind of odd to say this song has an almost upbeat or inspirational feel. I guess you could say. I, I, it, it's because of the sound of it, the way he sings, the, the beat itself. Um, I'm going to play a snippet of it here in a minute so you guys can hear what I'm talking about so you don't think I'm crazy. Uh, it, but, you know, the, and the thing is, is if anyone could do that with the given content, it would be Gino. You know, if, if anyone could take a song about dying and make it sound, you know, inspirational, it would be him. Uh, this track, um, obviously, uh, he is talking about his death. You know, he's saying, you know, sing for him, don't pray for him. You know, he explains he wanted to go anyway. You know, in a kind of like the last one, why should people who were never there in his life when he needed them be there in his death? What need does he have for him now? Uh, once again, I'm, I'm going to play a snippet of this track right now for you guys. Check it out. This is Sing For Me. Sing for me when I'm dead like this all was worth it. Politics and all the bullshit just fuck with my head. To the point where I was snorting dope and hoping for death. Searching for purpose in a harmless person. Now tell me if this all was worth it. Feel the far past workers, but the herd is perfect to lead the herd with these words. Yeah, it gives me purpose below where my home still crap beneath the surface. I'm certain, waiting for some change, but it don't happen. Never beg for change, so I'm out scrapping. Poor life fucked. How did it all happen? The devil's ride shotgun laughing. Pray for me now. Whole life spent chasing life's camera action. Falling harder than Connor Clapton. I might just jump out this house of pain. I'm tired of facing the day, so straight for me. Oh. Well, now I'm dead and gone. Oh, all the things I should have changed. All the things I should have changed. 
change Don't pray for me We never got along Oh, all oh, this world could be so strange You love me when I'm gone All that I know is it's hopeless All that I know is I chose this All that I know is it's hopeless hey. You love me when I'm gone All that I know is it's hopeless All that I know is I chose this All that I know is it's hopeless hey. You love me when I'm gone Okay, track nine. It's called Killing Autumn. This track is probably one of the more deeper ones on the album, for sure. In this one, he, you know, flat out discusses his mental struggles, including uh, addiction, depression, OCD. You know, he just wants to relax because he knows it's killing him. Uh, he wants to shed his past like autumn sheds its leaves. That's one of the lines in the chorus. Uh, and, and, that, and that's completely true. He wants to get rid of it all. And basically start fresh. You know, be clean. Start anew. The next track, Drink to Sleep, is just kind of a short sound bite. Um, I'm not sure if he planned on including that. You know, in one of his songs or something that never got completed. Or, you know, I'm I'm not not entirely sure. But it fits. Uh the last track, Welcome to Hell. Uh now, as I said earlier, that this album it both opens and closes with that, you know, dark half sounding horrorcore sound. I hate to keep saying dark half sounding, but he was one half a dark half, you know? So, of course, his solo stuff is going to sound like his group stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, but th this album opened and closed with that sound. And it, and it was actually kind of nice. Considering the content in between, you know, it's very depressing. It's very, you know, personal, very deep. Uh... By opening and closing, it allows the listeners to, first of all, be welcomed by Gino in that familiar dark half way, and also after hearing this this sad album by him, we get to end it with the track "Welcome to Hell," and it's back to that you know horrorcore sound again that we all love. I mean, there is still some uh, themes in it that um, you, you, you can tell he's a bit depressed and stuff, but we're able to return from that from that sad album, from that, you know, Sing For Me and Killing Autumn, and come back into that old Gino. It's kind of like leaving us with a lasting memory of the way we, I don't want to say we should remember him, but the, you know, the way that we would want to remember him, I guess, you know. Because we all remember him as the guy with the, the 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 makeup and stuff on his face, you know, up there on stage with Damien, you know, killing it like that. So, I mean, as far as a solo artist, I mean, he, he's a dope solo artist. This album on its own, once again, you know, without the other stuff behind it. It's, you know, musically, this album, it is sound. It is a great album. It is a beautiful album. And, you know putting back in everything around it, you know, considering all that happened, uh, it's definitely a very moving album, touching, it's sad, it's also, I guess, the perfect way, I don't know if it's the perfect way, um, LSP did a perfect job capping off the end of his great career. Uh, I mean, this album just goes to, to prove and show that he had, he had a lot of talent, and he probably had a lot more great things coming for us. Uh, and it's, it, it truly is a tragedy that he left so young. Uh, I mean, he, he was younger than me, which really trips me out sometimes because he's such a, you know, he's an established artist. Everyone knows who he is, you know. So in my mind, he's, he's always older than me, wiser than me. And it's just, it's just crazy to think, you know. And for any of you out there that are listening, um, I'm not going to sit here and preach to you about, you know, what you do in your private time, but 
you know, if you are mixed up in something heavy like that, like heroin and things, you know, it it might be, you know, in your best interest to to go and seek help. I mean, the the facts alone are are out there. When when you you know do drugs of these of these sort, you know, you kind of you kind of accept the fact that this is how it's it's going to take you, and 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 that's a very sad thought. That is why I work with the Juggalo Outreach Program. We have a branch called the Juggalo Recovery Project. And, uh, you know, I, I sit and I talk with addicts, um, you know, people that are struggling with cravings and withdrawals. You know, I'll, I'll sit and chat with them all night long, you know, just trying to help them out. Uh, same with uh, suicide also. Um, even though Gino didn't commit suicide, it was still an accidental overdose, accidental suicide. And this album does express his desire to kill himself uh, sometimes. So the same thing there. If you're feeling like that, get help. It, it really is better. You might not think so. You might think it's the end of the world. Um, you know, I've even dealt with some, you know, substance, some, some medication problems myself. Uh, it sucks. It is horrible. But the other end is so much better. And so I, I hope that anyone that does listen to Gino's album, A Beautiful Curse, um, that is going through any similar problems, I hope that this helps them. I hope that this um, helps inspire them, motivate them, um, enlighten them to go and seek the help that they need. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, you know, I'm not going to you know preach to you guys. I just wanted to put that out there. Once again, the Juggalo Outreach Program is always 24-7. We're always open. We have a whole team of dedicated members. You guys can hit us up. Look us up on Facebook. Juggalo Outreach Program. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this out to a break. Um, I'm going to play that track, uh, Run Along, right now so you guys can check that out. And uh, we'll be back here in a few moments with the Buffalo Juggalo Radio Show. Why I fall, fed up with this 
world I need you now Was I born for anything? Why do I crawl? I wish you understood the pain that I go through I wish you knew how much you meant to me I'm so empty I can't face the day now I break down from these constant memories I pray to God that he hears me, I need this I'm so distant and losing energy I'm a lost soul searching for purpose But all I ever seem to find is enemies Most days I spend tripping and I don't know what to do Is this a life awarded? Most days I find I'm confused Could you help me get through this? All oh, the pain that I live with Most days I find I'm running from the fact that I miss you So all along 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 What's up, everyone? I'm Polmar. And I'm Trippy Two Face. And we're the hosts of the Buffalo Juggalo Radio Show. You can catch us every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern on Hatchet Radio. We'll be bringing you all the freshest and underground music news, interviews, featured artists, and so much more. With a special focus on the 716 and beyond, this is the official broadcast of Buffalo Juggalos. Come scope us out at hatchetradio.net and hit us up at facebook.com slash Buffalo Juggalo Radio Show. We have tons of contests and giveaways coming up on our page. So don't sleep on it. The Buffalo Juggalo Radio Show, Saturdays at 10 p.m. Eastern, only on Hatchet Radio. Hope it's on the 716 Buffalo.